Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Shannon Scott, the Bard of Bonaventure, coming to you from deep inside the cemetery jungle known as Bonaventure. It looks kind of jungly right here, doesn't it? And that's the beauty, all the flora, the fauna, the foliage, just all the great, great, great plant life out here. It's that Garden of Eden by the water, uh, the Wilmington River just right behind me here. You can hear boats going up and down the river. Um, but it wasn't too long ago that this mysterious craft landed in Bonaventure. And uh, we've actually alerted the authorities. We don't know if their intentions with the human race are nefarious or not, or just possibly that the, uh, the human race will be fooled into boarding their ships to head off to paradise, when in reality, uh, we're all just items, food items, ingredients in the alien cookbook. And of course, uh, that's a reference for the sci-fi fans out there. Or who knows, uh, maybe Doctor Who will just walk out of the Egyptian-looking TARDIS. But uh, it sits inside uh, this craft, I guess you could say. Sits inside a pyramid-shaped plot as well with tabby oyster walls. And so it's really a pyramid on top of a pyramid. And the pyramid that it sits on top of in terms of the shape is actually... Uh, shaped like one of the later dynasty pyramids, the Great Pyramids as we like to call them, uh, Giza or what have you. And so this pyramid that it sits within points back directly to the city of Savannah. And this pyramid that's on top, uh, the crypt if you'd like, uh, is stylized to look like a, an Egyptian stepped pyramid. So it's almost like two styles of pyramid representing the two, let's just say, ends of the Egyptian culture, like uh, the, the earlier stylized step pyramid, and again, this is stylized and some Victorian flourishes, and then also then the, uh, the pyramid-shaped plot that's like the Great Pyramid. So it's like, um, you know, I don't know, you could say that the bookends or something, but I love the magnolia tree that kind of crowns the top of the pyramid. As we come around to the front here, above the door, we find a winged egg. And the egg, as you, some of you have heard me mention before, is a heavy motif in not only burial architecture, tomb architecture, but building architecture. You often find the pattern uh, in a motif. And really the egg is about the journey, the birth, the journey, and the regeneration of the spirit. The Egyptians believed the vulture guarded the afterlife and so very appropriate that we see sort of, let's say, this guardian uh, egg or vulture egg, perhaps, above the door. Um, and yeah, it does remind people of the Air Force um, emblem as well. And surely there's a relationship in that sense. Um, but also kind of unclear uh, is that, I shouldn't say unclear, but the name above the door is John Mongin. Now, John Mongin's... I don't know if it was his grandfather or his great-grandfather. You have to forgive me. It's a little hot out here today. But he was a clockmaker from Holland, and he settled into Charleston, South Carolina, I believe at the end of the 16th, or sorry, 17th century, and um, would have had eventually those like fancy European-looking clock shops with all those beautiful clocks in the windows and maybe some metallic lettering and, you know, just a beautiful clock shop situation. But they got into rice and cotton, and eventually they acquire Defusky Island, South Carolina. Now, Defusky, South Carolina, De Island, South Carolina, not terribly far from Savannah in a way. Uh, it is famously known for a Gullah community there, uh, although dwindling in numbers. And John Cougar Mellencamp lived on the island for a while. I think he may still have a house over there, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, for you John Cougar fans. But also Jimmy Buffett wrote his great lyrical poem, The Prince of Tides. Uh, I believe borrowing that from uh, the novelist Conrad, or sorry, uh, Pat Conroy, or maybe the other way around, I can't remember which, but anyway, one of those guys borrowed the title, The Prince of Tides, but yeah, what a beautiful poem about um, uh, where you find um, Jimmy Buffett warning the world about the development forthcoming of, from the developers of the beautiful Defus Gallon, and, and some would say that's actually part of the tragedy of that island, but Anyway, the Mongin family married into the Stoddards, and that's the other name you see on the door there. 
they were the they are the big name in shipping around Savannah. So if you guys ever get to Savannah and you see those big big container ships going down the river, Stoddard is a big name tied to that shipping. Manja not so much anymore. Um, but when these two empires merged, they dismantled this uh, vault off of Defusky Island. They remantled it on a barge. So basically, they would not forget what it looked like. And we would have seen this barge with this monument or this crypt exactly as it looks coming down the, the uh, Wilmington River here, or what may have still been called the Warsaw River. And I believe this was moved in the late 1850s in that sense. But the work order uh, basically insisted that this be taken to the front entrance of Bonaventure, almost a mile from, from where I'm at, as sort of a showcase uh, entrance piece monument to the whole cemetery uh, to be kind of showy in that sense. But the monument company refused to take this uh, uh, really further. And that's because they had a real treacherous work day ahead of them. Uh, they were also instructed to build a subterranean pyramid shaped vault. So when you go through this door, essentially you are led into a pyramid shaped vault that is below this particular tomb. So imagine being or actually imagine the nature of the construction of the building down here that uh, is designed to support all this. So this is a really significant building below ground. And that's the thing, we're about, we are 50 feet above sea level right here, so that's entirely possible. But where you see the walls here, the tabby walls right beneath the chain link, is actually where the shelves are, where the caskets um, were you know, originally held. And then other kinds of burial objects and, and some fancy things were stored with uh, the family below. So it's really a, one of the most fascinating vaults, not only from its appearance here in terms of the, uh, the pyramid look, but also the contents of below, which most people would not assess or judge even existed. And in part, that was the whole idea. You didn't necessarily want everyone knowing your business, especially when uh, grave robbing was so um, or prolific and such a problem. But nonetheless, gang, uh, there is a deeper story to this, this vault in terms of the mysticism and the mystery school history and mystery school side of this vault. But that is something I only divulge on my Bonaventure After Hours tour. So if you ever have the good fortune of being here on a Saturday night from 5 to 8, I talk about this in the tour. And then also you can do that, um, that event privately with me. It's best, you know, financially if you've got maybe 10 people to pull it off. But I do the private after hours stuff for couples and, you know, uh, trios and, you know, two couples kind of thing all the time. But that is something I will not talk about here on, uh, let's say, online. But I'm happy to tell you live during Bonaventure After Hours, one of the more um, mysterious sides of Bonaventure is tied to this pyramid, as you might already estimate. But uh, like any good magician, we don't want to give away all the tricks. So, gang, this has been your... Bard of Bonaventure, Shannon Scott, coming to you from inside of Bonaventure, the office. And uh, you can keep up with me at uh, on Instagram at bonaventure.cemetery. Uh, of course, I have Bonaventure Cemetery Journeys on Facebook, as well as um, uh, Bonaventure Official on Facebook. You can find me there. If there are topics that you want me to address or you have questions, certainly feel free to comment. And I'll be glad to address those in a future video or answer you directly in some way. You can also message me at Shannon at ShannonScott.com. Check out my website too, ShannonScott.com or BonaventureCemetery.com. And remember, anybody can give you a tour of Bonaventure and Savannah cemeteries, but can they really take you on a story journey? That's what we do here, gang, at Bonaventure Journeys. Not tours, but journeys. Stay in touch and lots of love and thanks for watching.